when you ride on the roller coaster, it will be every other row on a roller coaster that will be filled. There's a lot of new changes at the state's oldest theme park. Guests and staff are required to wear a face mask unless they're younger than two or have breathing issues. There will also be thermal imaging temperature checks. And when it's time for a snack, you'll order through the Six Flags app. You'll be able to pay and everything via that app, and then just at the time that the meal is supposed to be done, just go and pick it up off of the counter. Coming up with new protocols brought new challenges. Realizing that we're an outdoor venue, um, it was kind of hard to say, well, just how many people can you hold in an outdoor venue? So now you'll have to make a reservation online before you can get into the park. We want to make sure that we can control the amount of crowd that's in the park so the social distancing can take place. While Frontier City normally opens in March, they say they wanted to wait as long as it took to make sure guests and employees felt safe. One of the greatest things about Six Flags, and I've worked for Six Flags for 30 years, is that it's all about safety. It's always been all about safety. And it wasn't just the safety of our guests, it's the safety of our team members. So everything that we looked at, we looked at that eye. The pandemic becoming a roller coaster ride for the world and changing everything as we knew it. Lacey Let, Oklahoma's News 4. Frontier City reopens to members and season ticket holders next week. They'll let 500 people inside the park. Then they'll slowly reopen to the general public. No word yet on when their sister property, Hurricane Harbor, formerly Whitewater Bay, will reopen.